Here it is, Steve Jobs' worst nightmare is finally here. It's T-Mobile's G1 running Google's Android platform. You confused? Eh, it won't be in a minute. Google is trying to take over our lives one product at a time, but their latest could clinch world domination, the T-Mobile G1. Powered by the Android operating system, this touchscreen phone also includes a full keyboard so you can seamlessly navigate between web browsing, Gmail, texting, or making calls. And since you're on 3G or Wi-Fi, access to tons of apps through the Android market is blazingly fast. Join the revolution for 179 bucks with a contract. There it is. So this is Steve Jobs' uh, worst nightmare here? No, I think that's a world without turtlenecks. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. But this is... Uh, this, Two people. It was, it was good. It was good. Thanks, I nerds. I liked it. I thought it was good. This, obviously, not as stylish as the iPhone. A little clunkier. With that said, what do we think about the, uh, the design here? All right, well, first of all, I just want to get this out of the way. I always get emails from people, why do you compare everything to the iPhone? All right, we, why do people we have this to do it. It, it, it changed the way, it changed the whole phone market. So I was just like, what do you have to do people what? like this? What my, did I do? My text-to-speech is broken. So yeah. It's like, hey, what's up, guys? Uh, my old name kind of <laughs> I can write my name and then how nice. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know we have a lot to talk about, but you're right. You're right. People have a valid point. But they are specifically going after the iPhone. This is a smartphone. There's an app store. It's got yes. a touch screen, so we have to do it. So just uh, tuck Ooh, your wieners away. With the emails. Okay. All right. So it's almost two tenths of an inch thicker than the iPhone. Uh, it actually looks thicker than that, but at, at, at its widest point, it's only right. point two. The, uh, the fupa the, here is much thicker on the Google. Yeah, don't, but on the, don't look up fupa if you're under 18. <laughs> no, no, no. The weight isn't or really. Or legal department. Weight isn't really a problem, uh, but it is a little bulky in your pocket. Overall, it is utilitarian, so the iPhone has it beat on design. Okay, but nobody has been able to match the uh, the iPhone's interface just right. yet. Some people have come kind of close, but between the touch screen, the full QWERTY keyboard. Your thoughts? All right, this is the cl this is the closest thing we've seen yet yeah. to, to what, what Apple's doing. The glass screen is fun to touch, incredibly responsive, better Absolutely. than some of the other smartphones that feel very plasticky. Mm -hmm. This actually feels feels just as good. And the scrolling's actually it feels like it's accurate. Scroll like it, it scrolling's great. You, you know, tapping you may have to tap a, a few times to select something, but you know the iPhone isn't perfect either. Also, this does not support multi-touch like mm. pinch or zoom, which is going to you know bum some people right. out. No I guess. spreading out the, fo the, the, the photos, but it does have the full QWERTY keyboard right under the hood, which I mean the keyboard the keyboard is fantastic, I have to say. The keys are widely spaced, totally easy to type on. It is just as good as a Voyager or a Psychic, if not better. Uh, now, did the bottom bar get in your way at all? I mean, I like that it has the, the trackball there and it's got some buttons, but I felt like when I slid it open that that little space... It didn't bother me until you pointed it out, and <laughs> then I started telling me, like, oh, yeah, that's yeah. just a speed bump for my thumb yeah. right there. Yeah, so it does slow it down a little bit, but but overall, again, yeah, I think you're totally right. The keyboard yeah. is, is phenomenal. Um, in, in terms of features, I know this has just about as many as the iPhone, but are they quality features? Do they work as well? Definitely. The Chrome light browser is fantastic. Where's the flash, though? There, you, there's no flash support. True. The GPS had a little trouble locating me, but uh, the integration of Google Maps and Street View was absolutely perfect. And I got to say, the Android market is an excellent app store. You find what you want, you tap to install, and the notifications up at the top of the screen let you know when it's downloaded and installed. That little notification window is amazing. It's by a spectacular the way. feature. It ju just gives you every little little update right up there mm -hmm. at the top. It's all right out there in front for you to see. Now, but Chris, I, I love the iPhone because it's also a music phone. Yeah. Sings well with iTunes. Plays mm -hmm. nice with music. Yeah. How's the, the music experience on the uh, the G1. Um, okay, it's good. The music player uses the Amazon MP3 store to download DRM-free tracks, which is a big thing. No headphone jack, though. There's no headphone jack. There's like this little proprietary oh, headphone that plugs into the bottom uh, they didn't learn of the, from, of like, the, the USB. IPhones, if, original if you want to use your own headset, you actually have to get an adapter at the bottom. I didn't okay. think that was very smart. Not really Google's fault, though. I mean, that's an HTC. This is sure, that we're talking sure. about hardware. Um, and also, as far as the camera goes, you really need a steady hand to control that right. um, as well. There it is. Well, now, again, I, I, I'm glad that you mentioned it's a HTC versus Android thing, because I think a distinction does need to be made yes. very clearly. So Hardware know, versus software. Yes, and the, the iPhone software where its operating system is rock solid. Absolutely. We've all been waiting for Android. This is the first phone that uses it. What are your thoughts? It is better in some ways. Listen, we haven't had one crash in a week of use on this phone, and the battery life seems a little bit better than the iPhones, but we haven't really had enough time to rigorously test it. They kind of mm -hmm. gave this to us and said, give it back as soon as you're done. Right. Uh, but, but considering you did install a bunch of apps, you have been using them, you've been walking around taking yeah, advantage yeah. of the features, and no crashes? No crashes, and uh-oh, Tech Talk time, the open source nature of Android, makes this a future-proof OS. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> we can see this overtaking Apple market share. But yeah. here's what I think. Apple exploded onto the scene, changed yeah. everything. 
thing. I think this is more of a, an, an early adopter kind of a thing. I think it's going to be a slower burn, but because it's going to be available on, on all sorts of different hardware, mm -hmm. I think over the long haul, we are maybe possibly going to end up seeing an, an Apple or, a, uh, or an I, Android OS. Oh, yeah. Be uh, there's going to the be the battle just as I think it was Windows versus, you know, I mean, the, it feels, the Mac it OS. It feels very know. Linux when you run it, so mm -hmm. it's probably a little more for, for PC-minded type people and Linux type people. So if you hate Apple and you hate it, you know, then oh. this is definitely the phone for you. All right, so the phone itself, 179 it's with a contract, good price. Spectacular. Um, but some of the things about it I just have to point out. 3D coverage lacks a little bit, kind of like AT&T. There is no exchange support, but it can take, listen to this, Apple, 16 gig micro SDHC cards like SanDisk. So it just pops into the side there. You don't have to pull out the battery. You no, no, no. It's just, it's, just, or anything. It's, just, it's just right out of the side, right there. All so. right, so that's cool. I, one thing that I, I'm, I'm glad we, we talked about this a little bit, and I'm yeah. glad that the show has decided to do this. This was your idea, too, write, which I thought was very well, smart. Yeah, I, I think it's important to, again, differentiate between the hardware, the G1 phone itself, yeah. and the Android operating system, which is powered by Google. So we've decided to rate the phone separately from Android because we think it's the right thing to do. I completely agree. So first up, the phone, Dr. Hardwick. Uh, I give the phone an 87, a B plus. Uh, yeah. It might not be as sleek as some, but it still works very well and, and not, not flimsy at all. Yeah. It's a pretty solid phone. Yeah, if you're a T-Mobile subscriber and you don't need exchange support, this, this is, is going to be the great phone for you. Yep. But now, to my favorite part, what about Android? 95%. It's a solid A. We really like Android a lot, and we hope this operating system goes to other carriers fast because, quite frankly, we're tired of crappy phones. And also, I think this is going to keep Apple even a little more on their toes. Uh, yeah, it's it's about time. It's about time. I, I want Nokia their to get, in, get in on it as well now and start getting oh, their, their touch. Oh, it's going to be all over, like like N96 with a uh, with a uh, Android oh, running. Oh, that was some nerd talk. <laughs> Turkey stop. We got to stop it. That's it for Gadget Prime. Remember, for even more of the latest news on computers, games, and tech. Check out G4TV.com slash the feed.